Hey everyone, back on the range. Uh, this time I've got a Remington Nylon 66. It's a very iconic gun, very uh, nostalgic. Tons of people had these. Uh, started making them in 1959. They made them for 30 years all the way up to 1989. Came in three colors. The brown, of course, is the most common. Then they had a green and a black. Also had a uh, stainless model. This one is tube fed through the rear. Uh, they also had a model that was uh, magazine fed, but it didn't uh, didn't work as well. It had some problems feeding. Um, they did recommend that you used uh, high velocity ammo with these. Um, and so this time we're going to be shooting some Winchester. Uh, I think these are Super X. Uh, they're 36 grain hollow points. They're copper plated. Um, got it loaded up. Let's see. Try the uh, squirrel over there and the groundhog. I think it's got a, a little bit of pop to it. Let's try uh, shoot some bottles with a pain in the neck. Let's try some bottles over here. not hold open it's kind of weird it feeds through the stock had lots of tube feeds before but never through the stock that's kind of one of the part of the things that makes it quite iconic though holds 14 rounds in the tube one in the chamber it's very lightweight this one seems to be super accurate of course most of them most of them were Back to the bottles over here on the right. See if we can make the little bear spin on the street. There we go. Right, let's see if we can hit the big pink one down there. What's the thing here for? Hey, we got it. Let's go back to the squirrel. This thing's pretty fun. Let's put another, put another set through it. Maybe we weren't out. Yeah, had one stuck in. We were out, but had one stuck in. See if I can make the uh, spinner in the middle go. Got one. 
Let's do the, let's make some more bottles here for a while. Finish off the groundhog. So I talked to a bunch of people that had these, or their dad had them, or or whatever the case may be. Um, tons of people were telling me about how they used to just stick them behind the truck, and uh, always got it out, and, and it fired every single time. Tons of memories with these. This is the first time I've ever shot one. I got to say pretty accurate. Um, I think I was hitting the blue bottle even though it wasn't dancing, but all the others were. Um, very light. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you think of the comments. Thanks for watching.